I don't know how well you can see me under here, but I am under the uh, back back of the house, the first floor balcony. So what this is, is the outermost joist. It has no load on it. So on the other side of this is um, the root cellar. That's a pretty well used hole saw, so it's not the sharpest one. And there we have it. So this has a, a series of holes, which, uh, if you use this little tab I just discovered, experienced people are like, yeah. So yeah, you could use these, so you can kind of like start here, get it up, go here, and then go here. Interesting, nice, love it, done. intake this um, hot air exhaust and I went and ahead and made it yesterday so hot out we have a hot out and we have a cold in um, right now we're working on the hot out part the exhaust this is this gap here is actually the joist we just drilled through so that's where that'll be in the placement and then it'll come in here and they'll go down into the root cellar right up at the ceiling level I put an extra three inch um, tube in there in case I want to attach something. Also what it does is it creates an internal bug screen. Also one for the outside that's a bug screen. Uh, and that's uh, metal of course. Uh, it's a mouse screen as well. Mouse, mice don't chew through the metal. This is going to actually be on the outside so that'll be the exhaust. The hot air will be coming out there underneath the uh, balcony. Um, so I actually have to take this off and slip this through from the inside and then we'll go back out to the balcony and put that on. And that just makes a, a tight seal. I don't have any PVC glue in any of this. Um, this is really to kind of create that screen. So there's a, this extra. Also, this is the spacing. It, it's just the spacing works out perfect with an extra coupler. I had these spare parts here, so I just used kind of what I had and kind of lucked out for this project. Okay, perfect. This part is actually the uh, the cap that goes on the outside of the um, the pipe, and uh, it has a bug screen. That's why there's this extra lip in here. So I could have made it one and a half inches. It's just enough to fit that screen, which I cut out into a perfect circle that was maybe a half inch extra all the way around, so that when it would get snugged into here, um, it really locks it in. It's, it's just like pressure fit. You probably can't get this back out doing that and then I left an extra lip on it just in case I want to add something in the future so that's a half inch I'm sorry one and a half inches basically it's actually a little too loose I think I'm gonna stuff some rocks all in there or something. Let's see. Yeah, it does. There's another hole down there, but I have to clear out myself a pathway to crawl through to get to it.
Okay, so this is where I want the um, intake to be. Forces the air to kind of come out here first and make its way up here into this room to the exhaust, and that gives it some circulation. Okay, so the plan is, is to uh, drill the hole and then we'll do the same thing we did for the uh, exhaust. I just want to drill a pilot hole and I can see it from the outside. Okay, so uh, I'm in here. It's super comfortable. I love it. And uh, I gotta take out the ins the outer insulation now. <laughs> so I found the pilot hole. Thing is the last time just gotta take this end off this it's also a stopper so this is gonna go through the joist and then this will be on the outside underneath where we just were and uh, this also has a screen this does not have a second screen because it's coming in all the way down to the bottom yeah that was it I already feel cold air coming in here okay that's fine Okay, so it's in, it's fully seated, and uh, it's ready for the downpipe, which I haven't measured or cut yet. So I made this boot, it's pressure treated with some um, composite decking scrap. So this will come here, and then we just have to measure the distance between the two pipe openings. Okay, so I cut the pipe, and it's gonna be a tight fit, as you can see here. Oh, that's snug. I'll explain the controls. Very low tech, very simple controls. This is the three part system. That's fully open. And then there's a reducer from four to two. And you could just slip that on. And now that'll, that's medium. And then if you want to just stop the airflow, you can, uh, we can just shut it off completely here. Now, I was thinking, should I block it off from the outside, which no, cold air would pour, heavy cold air would pour into the tube, creating cool, but if there's no airflow coming in and that's just a cold tube, I probably want that kind of cold. Anyway, so just gonna see how it works out. Again, I'm no expert. You gotta do it and then observe it and then redo it until it works. It's late August in uh, here up in Northern Vermont. So uh, we've got a lot of cold coming. Here we can control it as a resource uh, and is humidity but not too much and not too much humidity. So you gotta find the right balance. One of the features of the root cellar is this four by four foot hole in the uh, concrete foundation. Now, um, and then that's just stone. So it goes down uh, here for four inches or more actually. Um, it's like a form poured. Uh, so it's just about five inches maybe. But anyway, yeah, there's about five inches of stone in there, and that'll allow humidity to come up into the root cellar. Originally, our idea was to have both of these, uh, like, two rooms, two separate rooms, but now we realize the more we learn and uh, watch other videos on YouTube and read books, um, it's better to do microclimates. You know, potatoes and straw and carrots and sand, etc. Um, so yeah, I built these crates, as well, just because I had 
I had to clean up mess and get rid of pallet wood and just wanted to make some nice crates. But now we have them in the last forever. So we could put fruit in there, um, maybe apples. Mm -hmm.